What's going on YouTube? I just wanted to upload a quick video of the new Xfinity mobile service. Today I have the LG X Charge, which is actually on sale right now for $1. Um, if you're an Xfinity customer that has internet, you pay $1 for the phone itself, you own the phone, and you can actually, you know, once you get the phone, you can go with their unlimited plan, which is unlimited talk and text, and you receive 100 megabytes of data for free, as long as you're an internet customer. Uh, so overall, uh, once you pay the dollar for the phone plus sales tax, which came out to three dollars for me, um, you pay the tax for the rest. You know, the rest of the time you own the phone. So it's basically roughly around two sixty three for me a month for the phone, and you get unlimited talk, unlimited text, and you get a hundred megabytes of data. Now, that's a that's a pretty good deal uh, compared to you know other phone companies out there. Uh, the service runs on Verizon, and so far it's great. I've had perfect call quality, you know, perfect signal, perfect coverage. And uh, you also get unlimited Wi-Fi if you're, you know, near an Xfinity hotspot, which there are, there are tons around. There's even an app that shows you where they are located. You just have to log into your Xfinity account when you're on the Wi-Fi, and you can use it as much as you want. Now, you get a brand new LG X Charge. The phone comes with a 4,500 milliamp battery. Um, it has fast charging. It comes with a fast charger in the box. Uh, the front-facing camera is 5 megapixel with a flash, which is pretty cool. The back rear-facing camera is 13 megapixels, and it's capable of taking FHD and HD video, which I believe is 1080p and 720p. I believe it's at 30 frames per second. Um, you can quote me on that. Uh, the phone itself has 2 gigs of RAM, 16 gigs of onboard storage, um, which usable to you is 7 gigs. You also get a micro SD slot. Uh, the phone doesn't have a, a removable battery, but it does have a slot on the side for the SIM card, which is a nano SIM, and micro SD slot. Now, LG says the micro SD slot can only take SD cards up to 9 gigs, which is kind of unusual. I will be testing that out. I'll try a 32 gig in there and, and see if it functions. I'm pretty sure it will. Uh, so here's the phone. It comes in, you know, nice little neat package. Um, you know, you get you open up the box. You get this box. It comes with the charger and the USB cable, which is micro USB, as you can see. Uh, headphone port on the bottom, micro USB charger on the on the bottom with the speaker or the microphone. Speaker is actually on the back here. One speaker, and it's pretty loud. It's not too um, distorted. You know, it's a pretty decent quality speaker. 13 megapixel rear camera, as I mentioned. On the side, you have the volume rod sensor. Now you also have knock code, knock code, which is pretty cool. You knock on the screen a pattern and it unlocks the phone for you. You can double tap to shut the screen off. There's also a lock button on the right side, power button. And up top, uh, there's another microphone, which is used for um, you know getting clearer voice quality and whatnot. But overall, the phone is um, it's not too heavy with that 4,500 milliamp hour battery. It, it's a little heavier than my Galaxy S7 Edge. Um, but you gotta, you know, understand that it has the same screen size as the Galaxy S7 Edge. Um, now, for what you get for a dollar, it's it's pretty good. Now, Xfinity Mobile um, runs on Verizon, as I may have, men may have mentioned earlier, and it's um, very good so far. And you know, they you can hook up your account, see how much data you're using. Um, I actually turned my data off. I'm going to be using Wi-Fi going forward, and. As you can see, uh, you can run some pretty good games on this phone. Knights of the Old Republic runs pretty good on here. I'll show you a quick preview. Uh, it's kind of hard to operate with one hand. But as you can see, it's it runs pretty good. So overall, the phone is um, it's a really good phone for what you pay for, you know. And you can change the layout, you can change the... Um, the icons you can have it so where you have the op app drawer right now it's set up like the iPhone where there's just one you know main screen there's no app drawer but overall for what you get it's an amazing value um, if you want to test out Xfinity Mobile go ahead and go to Xfinity.com slash mobile the activation process is very simple once you receive your phone and uh, that's pretty much all I have for today uh, please like and subscribe my channel and please stay tuned for future videos I plan on getting the Galaxy Note 8 as long as, you know, the service is pretty good, I'll probably pre-order that right now or in the next few days, depending on how the Xfinity service is. So stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching.